Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Victor from The Retired Guys. So today for you, I am going to make an apple pie. There are a couple of ways that I normally make apple pie. I'm gonna make an easy apple pie that almost anyone can do. Uh, there's a mile high apple pie. That's not the one I'm gonna make for you, but I am gonna make a video on that to show you how to make one of those. And there are little handheld apple pies that are sort of like half moons that you can hold in your hand and dip. I'm gonna show you how to make those in another video, but today we're just gonna make a regular standard uh, all American apple pie. So what you need to make your apple pie is, you're gonna need, uh, I use Granny Smith apple pie because they have the nice acidity. I love the taste of them. They hold a lot of their flavor. You can use almost any pie, any apple that you like on making an apple pie. Except Red Delicious. Uh, ex ex exactly what James said. Except for, I wouldn't use Red Delicious because those, they fall apart and uh, they don't really taste well when they're baking. So Granny Smith, I think, are the best. You can mix them with other types of apples as long as they're not Red Delicious. So today I'm going to be using about six apples, anywhere between five or six apples. Granny Smith, I'm going to peel them. You're going to need an orange, a little bit of orange zest, lemon zest. You're going to need the lemon juice, the orange juice. You're going to need flour. You're going to need sugar. You're going to need cinnamon. You're going to need allspice. And you're going to need nutmeg. And basically, that's it. And you, of course, you're going to need pie crust. So I have my pie crust in the refrigerator chilling. I made that previously in another video. And on the link of this video, it'll show you uh, how to make uh, the pie filling. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to just... Uh, move our apples out of the way and we're just gonna basically peel one apple so you're gonna peel until all your until all your apples are peeled so when we come back these will all be peeled okay so the apples are all peeled okay so what you want to do is you want to just basically cut around the core okay so that part you don't want and what you want to do is you want to just slice them in small pieces like that okay so what you're going to do is cut them in small pieces throw them in your bowl Okay, so all my apple slices are, are cut uh, in pieces. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can cut them in cubes, whichever you prefer. But this is uh, the way that I actually slice uh, my uh, my apples. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the we're going to add the lemon zest. So we're going to put that in there, and we're going to add the orange zest. We're also going to add the uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice. And we're going to add the one tablespoon of orange juice. So what the orange juice and the lemon juice actually does, it prevents the apples from actually turning brown. So give this a little bit of a mix. Mix this up. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in... We're going to add in the half a cup of we're going to add in the half a cup of granulated sugar. Okay. Okay. We're going to also add in the two. Uh, I'm sorry, the one quarter cup of all-purpose flour. I like to give it a little bit of a mix. Okay. Try to use like either a wooden spoon. I wouldn't use a metal spoon because it'll damage or it'll bruise the apples. But if you also have a plastic one, you can use a plastic one. Okay, so that's that mixture. Now the best part is we're going to add all the spices that are actually going to make this taste and smell like an apple pie as it's cooking. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our cinnamon. And the cinnamon, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of cinnamon. Do you go to the cup? Three quarters of a, te of a teaspoon, sorry. Three quarters of a teaspoon, this one. Two. Three, that's the cinnamon. We're gonna add a half a tablespoon of nutmeg. That would've been a disaster. 
I would have hoped it would have given it horrible. This is a half a tablespoon of nutmeg. Okay. Oh, the nutmeg smells so good. And then we're also going to do uh, one eighth of a teaspoon of allspice. Give that a mix. It smells absolutely delicious. Now, if there are any apples that you see the green from the uh, outside portion of it, if you come across that, just take it off because you don't want any of that in there. I mean, I know it's hard, but... Okay, so... Oh God, it smells, it smells like fall. It smells absolutely delicious. So that's it. And uh, I also, I think I forgot, I have to add a pinch of salt. I'm surprised you forgot that. Yeah, I know. Salt is like your main thing. My main thing, I put salt on everything. So don't forget, add the pinch of salt. But on the bottom in the description, I'm going to tell you what the ingredients are. And I'm also going to tell you the amount that you need for each. So this is basically done. Okay, so that's what it should look like. That's the filling of the apple pie. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start working on the, on the actual pie crust. Okay, I made that the other day. It's been sitting in the refrigerator. We're going to take that out. I'm going to show you how we prepare that for the for the apple pie tin. Okay, so I have my uh, pie crust that I've actually made the other day. It's been sitting in the refrigerator. The longer, the better. And uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need, uh, this happens to be a nine inch uh, pie, uh, pie plate. And you're going to need some all purpose flour. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unravel. We're going to get this dough out. Okay, nice and cold. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half because... Less for the top and more for the bottom, right? One for the top and one for the bottom. Okay, so let's put that aside. Let's put that aside. And let's just work this into a ball. First thing we want to do, a little bit of flour on the counter. to lift your pie crust just leave it on the roller move your pie pan in the middle and just basically put it there okay as long as it covers the whole thing on the bottom, you're good to go. Okay, so the next step is wash your hands. Take your pie filling out of the refrigerator. I put it in the refrigerator because I wanted it to cool because I think it's better if you put the filling over cold. Cold, correct. I, it comes out better that way. And what you're going to do is you're just going to fill. All the juice you want in there. Okay. Let's get that in there. Your hands are all clean. My hands are always clean. When I cook, they're always clean. Okay, so, okay, so wash my hands again, 
And the next thing we're going to do, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually now roll out the other half of the dough and that's going to be on top. And I'll come back and show you that in a sec. Okay, so I have the top part crust on. I trimmed off the edges and I'm just going to put a little bit of egg wash on the sides for now. Okay, I mean, you can do it with a brush. Some people just like doing it with their hands. But what you want to do is you want to just put a little bit on the side and I'll show you why you're going to need to do that. The egg wash I used are two eggs and a little bit of water. Some people use milk. Okay, so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to do the, you're going to crimp, you're going to crimp the edge of the pie so nothing leaks out. So basically what you do, it's a two finger system. I started already here. So you're going to take your two fingers and your thumb and you're going to push in and then just move down. And just keep going down. Okay, so that's the pie. Now, with the leftover, what I did was I made sort of like a little design. So this happens to be a tree stem. stem, and I cut out little leaves. I don't have a cutter, so I cut it out on my own. So once you cut them out on your own, what you want to do is take the back of your knife and just make little indentations in the back by using the back of the knife and that will give you a leaf design. So the back of the knife very lightly Okay, so I made a little a little design on the apple pie. Now what you also want to do is you want to make holes in the apple pie to let the steam out. So basically what I do is I just make, a, I get a paring knife and I just cut one slit up that way, one slit up that way, one you, slit this way. As you go through the dough. Right, make sure you go through the dough completely. And one step that way. Once all of that's done, you're going to take your egg mixture and you're going to coat this whole cake, I'm sorry, pie with egg mixture. You're going to bake this in a 400 degree oven. This may have to cook for about an hour because uh, what you, how, you, how you can tell if it's done, be careful when you come around the flowers because the egg wash will actually keep the flowers in place. So just slightly tap when you come back, when you come by the flowers. Okay, so like I said, the egg wash will keep the flowers in place. And you'll see when this comes out of the oven how nice this looks. Don't worry if the flowers move around. It's nature. You, right, it's like James said, it's nature. nature. Flowers blow in the wind. Okay, so we're going to each flower if you want you can actually put the uh, flowers on after you egg wash the whole thing because then it'll really hold it down so the puddle over here. yeah don't worry about the puddle pull out you can have the scrambled eggs says that he's <laughs> worried about the puddle so the scrambled eggs you can have that. let's just slightly just soak up some of the puddle to make Jimmy happy there you go. You want scrambled eggs on your face. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there is one last step. Again, we're going to make sure that these flowers are in place. Okay. These flowers now will not move. You say your prayer. Right. You say your prayer. Like Jimmy says, we're just going to make sure these holes are remain open. 
Remember, you need these holes because that's where the steam comes out. One then, last thing before you go, you want to top it off with a little bit of granulated sugar, which will give it a nice shine. Okay, and that is your apple pie recipe. So we're going to throw it into a 400 degree, degree oven for anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. You're going to check on it periodically. Well, not throw it. Uh, you're going to place it. Well, not throw it. We're going to place it. Yes. As James said, <laughs> not throw it. This is such an idiot. Okay, so uh, you, <laughs> we're going to place it in a 400 yes. degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Check on it. Check on it occasionally. Stop. And then. Uh, oh, man. As soon as as soon as the, the the crust on top is brown and nice, take it out of the oven. It should be done. Okay, so when I come back, when we come back, me and James will take it out of the oven. But right now, we'll put it in the oven and let it cook. <clears throat> okay, so our pie has actually been cooking for a little over an hour. So it all depends on uh, your crust and how much apples that you put in. But ours is done, so we're taking it out of the oven. And it looks absolutely absolutely awesome wow so come take a better a look at that james so that's our apple pie so we're going to let it cool now there's my little my little tree with my little leaves and it it smells absolutely delicious uh i had the oven off for a while so that's why you don't see it steaming but it has been bubbling through the through the air vents that I made on top. So we're going to let this cool for at least about an hour. Me and James are actually going to have lunch now. Actually a late a late lunch and early dinner. So we're going to have that. And this is going to be our dessert. Uh, very easy to make. We're going to come back in a little while. And we're going to cut into this so we can show you what it looks like all sliced up. Okay, so this is the pie. I did cut into it already. I took a slice out, which is right here. Me and Jimmy almost actually finished that slice. It is absolutely delicious. What the first thing I taste besides the apple, which you get hit with the apple the minute you put it in your mouth, is you taste a little bit of the lemon juice and you taste a little bit of the orange. And I think that is making this pie taste a little bit unique, not just an apple pie. I mean, you have the orange and you have the lemon combined with the apple, the acidity, the crust is absolutely perfect. It is so delicious. Uh, I think maybe I should have just waited for it to cool down a little bit more. But if you can see, the crust is so flaky. Uh, and all the cinnamon, the apple actually cooked perfectly. You can see the cinnamon there, the flake of the crust. It's absolutely delicious. The crust is so good. The bottom, the top, it really is delicious. If you don't like it, the taste of orange or lemon in your apple pie, I would actually opt out. Don't put that in if you don't. I kind of like it this way, but I am going to make another apple pie that shows it without the lemon and without the orange in it and just the apple. But if you want a little bit of a different taste to your apple pie, do the lemon zest do the orange zest, put a little bit of lemon juice in, and put a little bit of the orange juice in. It makes a world of difference towards your apple pie. So, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Please share the video. And look for the link below that shows you how to make the crust. The crust is absolutely perfect. So, until next time, take care of one another. Peace out.